First of all, the principal objectives of the project, we believe that the most powerful factor in student achievement is a great teacher. Research, common sense tell us that teachers are the key. So if our goal is increased student achievement, the best way to achieve that goal is to make sure our teachers are teaching at the highest level possible. So how do you do that? We're changing the way we recruit, hire, place, train, support, evaluate, and compensate our teachers. It's a very, very comprehensive approach. You can't accomplish one piece without the other. Our professional development is tied to the evaluation. Our hiring is tied to recruitment and support. The right kinds of support are essential at every step of the process. All those pieces are interrelated. Now, how long has the project been underway? We received the grant from the Gates Foundation in 2009. We moved very quickly to get the infrastructure in place. In 2010, we introduced our mentors who work with our first and second year teachers. We put in place a completely new evaluation system that is much more rigorous and meaningful than the previous system and one that factors in student achievement. And we introduced our peer evaluators. So for the first time during the 10-11 school year, our evaluations were based on observations and evaluations by principals and peer evaluators, as well as a value-added model that measured student outcomes. All of the things I just mentioned involved a tremendous amount of work and preparation, planning, and training. It was really a huge shift for us. And then in 2011, we began our second year with the peers, mentors, and the new evaluation. Uh, we provided our teachers with the first results of their new evaluation. We had already aligned our professional development with the new evaluation, so with these new results, teachers have a much clearer idea of what they need to work on. The evaluation is nothing if you don't use that information to get better. And also in 2011, we made some changes. We tweaked the system based on teacher input. So after they'd gone through it for a year, we looked at what they had to say about what we could do to change it and make it better. But our goals have not changed. All along, we've recognized that our teachers and principals are the best experts on this subject. So now in 2012, we're starting our third year with the new evaluation. We're providing teachers with the second round of evaluation results. And we're providing cut scores that tell our teachers what their evaluation scores mean based on five levels. Well, it really is a fascinating um, way that this grant came our way from the Gates Foundation. Um, they looked at 16,500 plus school districts and about 3,000 plus charter schools across the country. Um, they, they had a formula and it zeroed down to um, a number, probably around 20 school districts. And then Hillsborough County became part of that finalist list because I think of uh, several factors that are in place here. First of all, we have stable leadership. Uh, secondly, we have a collaborative working relationship with our teachers union. Uh, we have a history of innovation, including pay for performance. And I think it's clear that our, our goals are focused on student achievement. When they narrowed their focus to 10 districts, they asked us to create a plan. Um, we met several times with those districts, the other nine districts and ourselves, to, to work and develop the plan. And they hired um, a consulting firm um, Boston Consulting to work with Hillsborough County on developing the plan. So we worked together with a team, including our union and our school board, um, for approximately four months and then presented to the Gates staff and to a number of people in their organization and to all those other districts, the other 10, 
knowing that at the end it was probably going to be four, maybe five that were selected. Um, now when we say that they chose us, it's true that they chose us, but we, um, we chose them too. The grant provides us with an opportunity to do some things that we always wanted to do, in fact had started to do. Their goals and our goals for improving ed education uh, really are remarkably aligned because it includes a focus on college and career readiness, uh, gains for high-need students, and really a new way of supporting teachers with real data and meaningful evaluations. It really has a focus on continuous improvement for teachers, and that was really the agenda that we had in Hillsborough. The application process was absolutely fascinating challenging, stimulating, rewarding, exhausting. We spent several months, including the summer, with early morning meetings trying to come up with a plan that would help us reach our goals. The teachers union was with us at every meeting and every step of the way. There were some very difficult conversations, but we just kept working at it. We wanted to write a plan that would create a model for the nation. And the school board's vision states that we seek to become the nation's leader in developing successful students. We knew the stakes were very high, and I think we came up with a great plan. We went to Seattle um, to, uh, to present it to the Gates Foundation. There was some nervousness, but we were so familiar with the plan, there was a lot of confidence too. A few months later, we learned that we were awarded the grant. At the time that we wrote the grant proposal, I was fortunate enough to be the board chair. So I was present at all the early morning meetings where we hashed out all the details. It was my job to provide the board's perspective. When you looked around the table, you could see that we had it all covered. The teacher's perspective, the principal's perspective, the student perspective, the perspective of HR, assessment, curriculum instruction, and communications. Later, I was fortunate enough that my fellow board members agreed to appoint me as the liaison to continue the work that I had started uh, for the board. It was my job to serve on the committees and the work groups and to keep the board informed. From the start, we characterized this project as a three-legged stool. One leg was the teachers union, one leg was the superintendent, and one leg was the school board. We needed input, support, as well as a lot of hard work from all three. The goals of the grant proposal are very much aligned with the board's overall mission and vision so we had a great deal of support. At each step, the board has provided updates and asked questions. 